Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021, where today we're taking on one of the many scenarios that this game has on offer, and the scenario we're playing was actually chosen by you lovely people out there, which is wonderful. So yes, I put a poll up on the community tab thingamajig on the channel, asking which of three scenarios we should play, and you lovely lot voted in your millions. Okay, maybe not in your millions, you voted in your thousand, in your hundreds, you voted in your hundreds. I mean, that's still quite a lot, I was still blown away by the response. So when I checked at the end of the 15th of July, around midnight here in the UK, there were 914 votes and the results were as follows. 26% of people voted for the power of colours, 28% of people voted for nerd and the winner with 46% of the votes is carrot cake. If I'm completely honest, I thought it would be a bit closer between nerd and carrot cake. But there we go, carrot cake is the winner. And generally, you know, in life normally as a rule, cake is a winner. So there we go, perhaps we should not have been surprised. So here we go, without any further ado, let's get back to the farm and have a go at the carrot cake scenario. So here we go, this is where we find out what we need to do to actually complete the scenario. So we have our goals down here. I like this up here, it says, it will be delicious. I like the optimism, that's quite nice. Provide the ingredients for the carrot cake. Okay, will do. So what do we need to do? We need to produce 16 and a half thousand kilograms of carrots. I mean, that's one big carrot cake. It says up here, the carrot cake. It doesn't say some carrot cakes or many carrot cakes. It says the carrot cake, you know, definitive. There is one carrot cake. So this carrot cake is going to require 16 and a half thousand kilograms of carrots. That's one big carrot cake. That's very impressive. Good grief, it shall be huge and vast, but okay. Then we need to produce 13,000 kilograms of colza. Okay, not entirely sure why we need colza to make a carrot cake. Then we need wheat. Okay, yep, I imagine that's out. Ah, there we go, wheat flour. Uh, then colza oil. Ah, okay, I see. We're using colza oil to make the cake. That seems fine. And then, of course, chicken eggs. Right, okay, so carrots, two types of crop, some oil, and chicken eggs. I mean, it looks like the easiest thing to do would be to get the chicken eggs in. But okay, right, let's start the game and let's see what we begin with. So what do we have? We have just short of 90,000 farm manager monies. That's not very much. That is not very much at all. And then in terms of what we've actually got down here on the ground, we have ourselves our wonderful house. We've got the completely broken tractor back in the garden. No dear me. We do have a worker house. No workers, but we at least have the house. And that's good because they are quite expensive. I think, are they 30 grand? Is my memory playing up there? No, they are 30 grand, so it's good that that's in. It's, oh no, we don't want another one, we don't want another one. No, no, it's too expensive, but there we go. So we have that one in, that's good. And then we have an orchard of some sort, some apples. Okay, and they're going to grow in 75 days. Okay, that's quite good, because that might be a nice sort of early cash boost to us, because we're gonna struggle to get money early on. And what I'm thinking is, we might need to do this in kind of stages. So these are our goals up here. We need to make carrots and get some wheat and colza and all that kind of stuff and chicken eggs. But I think we're gonna start by doing something completely different because we cannot do all of this stuff on that money. That's impossible. There is no way that can be done because for carrots and wheat and of course colza, we need farm equipment. We need loads and loads of farm machinery and we need places to put it. We need parking things. We probably need a mechanic and all that kind of stuff and we just can't afford it. There is no way that we can afford all that stuff on that money there. So we need to start with something a bit simple. So I'm thinking we need chicken eggs. So let's get some chicken coops in because that's nice and straightforward. And then the chickens can just make eggs. They can just lay eggs. We can sell them. That's a nice bit of easy money right there. And then as we saw over on the lovely people's farm, I think cows, cows might be a good investment as well because they make manure, which we can sell and they make milk, which we can sell. And milk actually was quite, quite profitable. So I think, yes, we shall start with getting some chickens in. So I think the chickens could go there. Can they fit in this gap? How small are the small chicken coops? Um, yeah, there, small chicken coop, three and a half grand to get in. So yeah, we've got to be a little bit more wary of money now. Now at the end of the uh, of the sort of the series that we had of Farm Manager 2021, when we we're on the lovely people's farm, we didn't even look at the money at the end because we had over a hundred million farm manager money. So it did not matter. But now I must remember to go and check how much things cost. I can't just go, yeah, we'll have one of those and five of those, la da, -da because uh, yes, we're going to run out of money very quickly if I do that. So that is three and a half grand. We can't have the medium one and we definitely can't have the large one because yeah, we haven't got the right training. And I think we can't get that one easily at all. That's hidden behind the great big year long 100 grand training investment thing, isn't it? So we can't get the medium chicken coop at all, I wouldn't say. So what we'll do is we'll get, yeah, I think a couple of chicken coops. 
And then we'll get, we could get bees at some point as well. Bees are always good for some nice easy money. And then get ourselves, yeah, a small cow shed. That's 10 grand. So I think that might be a good start. So three buildings. And I think what we need to do is we need to not have things that require farm machinery. We need to kind of go through possibly a year, an entire year of farm manager, just you know, raising money, just trying to raise a bit of money without any farm machinery at all, because it's really expensive. We just can't afford that stuff. So let's get in a small chicken coop. They fit perfectly in that. Oh, they fit perfectly there and there. Oh, that is brilliant. Okay, so we'll have one there and we'll have one next door. Okay, so two of those, that is good. There's nobody in this house right now, so that's fine. So then we can get ourselves, hang on, hang on. Where's the nearest power thing? Just there. Okay, so everything kind of has to be more over this side. I'm thinking warehouses. We need a warehouse, don't we, to put the stuff from the chicken, so to put the eggs, and also to put the food that we're going to give to the chickens. So let's get ourselves. We are going to need a warehouse, aren't we? So yeah, get one of those. They're 12 grand. 12 grand for a warehouse, oh dear me. Okay, no, it's fine, we need one in. Um, can we put it there? Does that reach? Yeah, the power thing's there, of course it would. Yeah, so pop that there. 12 grand, warehouse, splendid, right. Move time on. Let's just get time moving on a little bit. So yeah, we should be able to get that done very, very easily indeed. Get chicken eggs done, that'll be fine. We can get that done soon. Yeah, that's just for cows, that's just for profit. And then I think we need greenhouses. I think let's go down the route of having some greenhouses because they're nice and easy to maintain as well. We just have some people in here that are good at working with plants. We get some good crops that grow quickly and make a bit of money. And then we should be able to actually bring in quite a bit of cash from greenhouses, selling the eggs and selling the manure and the milk from the cows over there. That's the plan. I mean, is that a good plan? I don't know. But yeah, we can't just go and get tractors and diggers and plows and planters and cultivators because we just don't have the cash for it. So, okay, right. Warehouse is nearly done. Got two things just here. So now we need to find some people that are good at working with animals. Okay, please have some good people. There's one person who's good at working with animals and also orchards. Could come in useful because there is an orchard just there. But if they're going to be working with animals, then yeah, that's no use at all. Also, you're very expensive. Um, No, let's not get anybody in that's, uh, that's animal based because there's only one and you're quite costly. We need to actually look at the wages, don't we? Um, Okay. How about plants? Is there anybody that's good at just working with plants? Um, you're quite good. Lowry Burgess, Endurance and Plants. Yeah, okay, you're good. 1,270. Are you good at working with plants? 1,174. Okay, let's get you two in. Lowry Burgess. Yes, you can come in and work on some plants. And then... Um, uh, where was the other person? Hang on. Has he done that thing where it refreshes the list again? Has it done that? I don't know. Was it you? Was it Arlo Spencer, possibly? I don't know. Um, yeah, you've, you're 1,174 for a skill of two in plants, which is significantly less than Ella here with her 1,359 per month. This is weird. It's weird having to look at the money numbers. It's so alien. Um, yeah, let's get Arlo in. Because, yeah, okay, he does have point less, but he's also significantly cheaper per month. So, yeah, we'll get Arlo in as well. So, two people that are good at working with plants. We haven't got anybody that can work with animals yet, unfortunately. Uh, right, okay, now we need a greenhouse. Let's get a greenhouse in. Okay, so that's seven grand, that's five grand. We can afford another two grand on a bigger greenhouse. That's fine, we'll make that money back. Now, where do you want to put this? Do the greenhouses need power? I imagine the greenhouses need power. Although we could, and we could put them over here. We could put them right at the bottom here, and that's absolutely fine. We could put them up there, really. Where's the cow thing going to go? Hang on a minute, hang on. Where's the cow shed going to go? How big is the cow shed? So a small cow shed. Okay, that might have to go, hang on, right way round. We'll put that just there. That's fine. So we'll pop that there, and then the greenhouses can go here. So let's get in a couple of greenhouses. Let's just get everything in, because we need stuff growing quite quickly. So let's get one in for now. Just one will do for the moment. There we go. Right, they're doing the lovely rooftop dance. This is all very good. Is there anybody around that can work with animals? Please say there is, because we need some people that can work with animals. Um, You are relatively cheap. You're very expensive. Lucy Reed, or Lucy Red, possibly. I don't know. Um, Yeah, you're really expensive. I mean, you're very good. And you like bees, which is wonderful. But my goodness me, you're extortionate to hire. Wow. 
That's very expensive. Um, Muhammad here. Animals and endurance. That's a good thing. I like that. Let's get Muhammad Jones in. So you can come in. And when we get a little bit of money, we could train him up. Because he's not that good at working with animals, really. But yeah, we can work on that. Okay, so then let's put you into there. There we go. And this one here, we want chickens. So 20 farm manager money is for one chicken. So yes, let's get all of the chickens. Okay, so they're going to be delivered. This is fine. They're going to send us some lovely chickens. Now we just need some food. So here we go. Ah, right, hang on. Important thing to check. None, uh, nothing here is organic. None of this stuff is organic at all. It is all regular, regular wheat flour, regular chicken eggs. It's not organic stuff. So we do not need to use these checkboxes. We do not need to worry about organic food at all. So, okay, that's fine. So oat, corn, soya, potato, and sunflower. So how about we order in a little bit of each of those? We'll just sort of order those in. And that'll have to be one of our expenses. Food for the uh, food for the chickens. And then, yeah, do the cows share anything? Oh, no, that's a greenhouse. Hang on. Oh, we haven't got that sorted yet. It's fine. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So how about we say yes to all of those things. And then we just go and set up an auto trading thing. So go into here. Hang on. Hang on. What is it? Oat, corn, soya, potato, sunflowers. Okay, so oat, corn, soya, potato, sunflowers. It's a shame you can't just sort of say auto buy all that stuff, please. So oat... Auto buy, Man, we don't need a lot, do we? We want to keep costs down. Uh, 25, that'll do. 25, that will do the job. So oat, corn, so regular corn, not the bio stuff. So yes, buy until 25 of that, please, which is not very much, is it? Um, there was soya or soy, whatever it is, that one there. So again, buy until 25. And then there were potatoes. So buy until 25. And then let's get sunflowers. Lovely sunflowers. There we go. Right. And buy until, hang on, buy until 25. Okay. So that is now food coming in for the chickens. Hang on. Hang on a minute. There was soy and corn and stuff. Hang on. That can't go in there, can it? That needs to go in a um, uh, thingamabob, a silo thingamajig. Um, we could get a small silo holds 5,000 things. I mean, that's fine right now. That's fine right now. It will not hold when you know, we have to make, have to get the colza harvested and such, but that's not going to be for a long while. So right now, whilst we're a bit poor, let's get a small silo in, shall we? Let's pop that. I mean, are we going to use this room for anything else? We might use it for another worker house, possibly. Let's put the silo just there. There we go. And it magically appears as well, which is good. Okay, move time on nice and quick. So there should be some chickens coming into here at some point in the very near future. Because Chappie's there waiting for the chickens. You could go and get some of the, the food. Actually, has the food been delivered? That's a good point. Yes, it has. Yeah, food has been delivered. And I think, are there some bits of food in here? There we go. Some oats are in there for the chickens. Okay, right. This is good stuff. And already they are producing eggs. 13 eggs we just got then. This is excellent stuff. And I think the greater the range of food we offer... The, um, the more eggs they produce. There we go. 26 eggs. So if we were to level this guy up, if we were to do that, that would make it even better. Because, yeah, he'd be able to collect things even quicker. It affects the collection speed of animal products. That could be quite helpful. The thing is, 51 grand remaining. Okay, no, that's fine for now. Hang on a second then. So is there anybody else that's good at working with animals? You. You. You're good at, hang on, you're good at plants and endurance. Yeah, we like that combination. Okay, so Maya can come in to just work in the greenhouses. And Anna O'Neill, you're very good at working with animals. And you seem to be quite reasonable in terms of wage. So yes, Anna, you can come in. You can work over there. So Anna, where are you? There you go. Right, and in here, we are having lots of chickens with all of the food. Okay, right, you can work on that. Now in the greenhouse... What do we want to get in our greenhouse? So, I mean, we could we could have bio stuff in the greenhouse. That does not matter. That doesn't matter because, you know, we can just actually hang on. That might work out OK because we've got cows. The cows will produce manure that we can then use to put on our bio products in here. Because I think if you don't have bio stuff, don't they use like the chemical fertilizer or something? They did do in 2018, I think. They, it was always chemical fertilizer, wasn't it? So... Maybe that's what happens in this. So yeah, the bio stuff is is the cow manure. 
Or does that have to be organic cow manure? I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. Joe, you know what? Let's just have a look. Bio stuff. What can we get? What's going to be, what's going to produce the greatest sort of amount of money per yield? Right, black currants are looking good. 50 day growth time makes 7,000 farm manager monies. Okay, potatoes, no, because they take ages and they produce very little. Okay, so currently black currants. Raspberries might also be good. Raspberries, 95 days for eight grand. Red pepper, uh, red peppers, red peppers make 7,300. Um, what about strawberries are quite good. 50 days for five grand. No, it's um, it's black currants. Black currants all the way. Seven grand from a 50 day growth time. Yeah, okay, we shall have organic black currants so let's see what we need to do with this then okay so actually how much is it to irrigate that two and a half grand i'm just thinking we're not going to have loads of people and it's going to be very sort of laborious for them to go and work on this all the time so maybe we save them one job so they can go and do other things and we irrigate this for them two and a half grand do we need to do that do you know what yes there we go it's done we've irrigated it because we're kind like that we're a kindly boss there we go Right, so now we should see some people going to work on this. They should go and plough this and all that kind of stuff. Okay, wonderful. Right, this is good. So now that is being worked on. In come some more chickens. This is excellent news. Right, and then in here, they're going to be very slowly but surely working on that. So I think we've only got three people that are working on farm stuff. I wouldn't mind a fourth. So can we find somebody else who's good at plants? Plants and machines, and you're quite expensive, Alice. No, never mind. Have we got anybody that's good with animals? That's also quite cheap. Gabriel. Gabriel Fletcher. You look like the kind of person that would like to work with cows. You look like the sort of person that wants to, you know, clean up cow dung and shovel it around all day. So absolutely, in you come. You can go into just there, and then we will buy ourselves a cow because they're quite expensive so buy one cow now that on its own isn't going to be you know doing much good so we might need to buy some more cows so they could you know do the do the magic of nature and write the letters of the stork or whatever a cow would do and then get baby cows however they are quite expensive let's get one more cow in for now oh the the, the financial hit of that is huge do you know what we might need more than that we might possibly need do you want to get two more it's very expensive, but they will pay it back in the long run with the milk and the manure and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what? We've done it. Two cows. Two cows have gone in. Okay. And now we need some food. So what do we want to give to the cows? Now, again, we're going to have to auto sort of buy this in. And it's nothing. It doesn't overlap at all with the stuff the chickens have. Of course it doesn't. So, um, yeah, we've got... Hang on. Have they got oats? Have they got oats in there? Yes, it does. The oats overlap. Hooray. Okay, one thing. So... Grass, silage, fodder beets, and crops. Okay, let's go and set up some auto trading things for those. There we go. So grass, silage, fodder beets, and crops all set up. So again, we're buying 25 units of those. So not too much because, you know, we don't have that much money. So there we go. So that should hopefully be okay. So let's just put all that in. Wonderful stuff. And now we should, at some point, see Chappie run into here. He should run over and go, hooray, it's my life's dream. I've always wanted to work with cows. Oh, there aren't any cows in here yet. Here we go. Right. Hello. Welcome to the cows. And there we go. Oh no, what's that telling me? Hang on, what's that telling me? Warning, what is happening? There is no warehouse. Yes, there is. Um, you have a warehouse or site for silage um, or grass. Oh no, we need to build a... Oh, we need to build a barn. Um, barns are expensive. Barns are 12 grand. Okay, right. We need a barn. How far does that reach? The power thing reaches to over here. Okay, we're going to have to invest in a barn, unfortunately. I don't really want to because they're horribly expensive, but we have to. We have no choice. So, okay, in goes an expensive barn as well. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. When did we start? I assume we started on the 1st of April. So yeah, so we've got ourselves a bit of time until the end of the month. And then, of course, we need to pay wages. We're going to have to pay wages and maintenance on all the buildings and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this is this is all fine. This is all fine. Right, there we go. Right, that sorted that out. The only thing is we don't have anywhere to store silage. What if we take that away? Let's not have silage because we don't need a silage storage thing. That's just more expense. 
So hang on, silage. Um, yeah, away with you. Away with you, silage. It sounds horrible anyway. Even the word silage just sounds unpleasant. So, okay, right. Now it's complaining they need food, but yep, they'll get there. Chap is bringing some food, I think. So yes, are you bringing food? I don't know what he's doing. I thought he was bringing food, but he's clearly not bringing in food. I don't know. Hang on, what does that mean? Not enough resources. Crops. We don't have enough resources. Go to the market and stock up. Well, hang on, didn't we go to buy some crops? Maybe they missed the delivery or something. Maybe they missed the delivery of crops. And then we're going to get some... Yeah, look, there's none there now. But at some point, we will auto-buy some in, he says, hopefully. Um, there we go. Yay for crops. Yay for grass. Everything is fine. The cows can all be happy again. Although I would like that red spinny symbol of doom to go away. Away with you, red spinny symbol of doom. Why are you complaining? We don't have... Oh, no, we haven't got a manure storage thing. Of course we haven't. Hang on, we've got nowhere to put the... Uh, nowhere to put the poop. Um, yeah, there. That'll do. Two and a half grand. It's all mounting up, isn't it? It's all mounting up. You know, just on the off chance, oh, we'll get some cows. They'll be nice and cheap. And then, you know, you get cows. You have to get a bar and you have to order in loads of new food. You have to get a manure storage thing. It's all quite expensive. Okay, fine. This is all good. So who is around and about then? So we've got three people that are working with animals. Three people that are working with plants. Okay, I would like another plant person to get this all sorted nice and quick. So please tell me there's somebody that is good at working with plants. Yes, you. Although you are relatively expensive. I mean, we can drop that down, but then you become grumpy and miserable and slow and useless. So I think we might wait. Hang on. These have all got plants. Um, expensive, expensive, expensive. And your animals. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll wait for we'll wait for this sort of you know, the list to refresh. And they'll pop back in. And eventually we will find someone. I'm sure we'll find someone who is good at working with plants that, you know, can be hired at a reasonable wage. There we go. That's much better. We didn't have to wait too long. So Archie Parsons here. You're very good. Four out of five skill with plants. And you only cost 1,220 per month. Absolutely wonderful. In you come. And immediately you can go over there. You can go and work in that greenhouse, please. Because we need all the people in there to go and do lots of cultivating. Are you going in? I'd like to think he would go in and help a little bit. Archie, can you go in and lend a hand? Maybe they can't join in once the actual particular bit of work has begun. Maybe they just can't do that. I don't know. And then is that, that house full? There is one space left. One space left. I mean, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to just get somebody who's good at bees and then just put a little beehive just here. Just put a little beekeeper cottage, fill this bit up with hives. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? That would work quite well, I think. And then we can have honey. And honey is always a good thing for money. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. So honey. What is honey going for these days? It would just be buckwheat honey. But um, yeah, so it's going for 28.56 per litre. And I think our bees could make a good job of that. I think our bees could be quite good. 23 grand right now. How expensive is it to build a bee thingamajig? Hang on, it's animals. It's only two grand to get a beekeeper building in. It's really cheap. The only thing is if we put it there, we can't have all the hives around it. If we put it over here, it's going to get in the way of the greenhouses. Hang on. Hang on. How far does that reach? It goes over there. I think the bees might have to go over here. Next to the, next to the lovely road. <laughs> How very nice. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think they will have enough power. Okay. Bees going in. This is all very exciting. Okay, right. So somebody's going to have to be employed to work in there. And that will fill up this workhouse. That'll be it. We will have no other people. But there we go. Right, so... Can we please find one person that is good at working with bees that's also not completely extortionate like Lacey there is? Um, yeah, we don't want people that are multi-skilled. Just somebody that can you know, look after some lovely bees. Nope, nobody yet. Never mind. Right, we need to get... Oh, yeah. The hives cost money, don't they? Yeah, that, that's a thing. Um, okay, hang on then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The money. <laughs> the money's almost all gone. Oh, dearie me. Okay, fine. Right, and then we just need to wait for somebody to actually be employed that can, you know, deal with bees that doesn't cost an absolute fortune per month in wages. Like Alice Shaw here. This is wonderful. Alice here has five out of five in terms of beekeeping skill. So she is absolutely, utterly amazing at looking after bees. And she's not that much. 1,386 per month. That's okay. I mean, Jude here is significantly less. Over 200 monies a month less. But Jude is not that good at working with bees. 
So Jude will not produce as much honey and such like. So Alice, yes, absolutely. You can come in, welcome aboard. And Alice, you are going to be working over there. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so she can run over there and start making honey. That's good. Well, she's not going to. She's going to look after the bees. And the bees can make the honey. She can just, you know, order the bees around. And this thing here is, that's fertilized. So now I'd like to think, they go, planting in progress. Only three people. Maybe only three people can work in a greenhouse at any one point. I would have thought you could have easily fitted four people in a greenhouse. <laughs> I mean, you know, it wouldn't be a push. It wouldn't be a stretch. I don't think they have to socially distance in there. But um, yeah, it looks like they're actually getting that in very quickly. Oh, can we get this all done in one go? That would be amazing. Right. The black currants are in and they are growing. 45 days until they're growing. 44 days. My goodness me, time is flying. Okay, that's wonderful. That's very good. Okay, so that's going to take a little while. It's irrigated, so they don't need to go back in and water it again, which is very, very good indeed. Um, and then we should, actually, hang on, we should have some things to sell. We should have eggs and we should have milk. And also we do have a bit of manure to sell as well. We should have a little bit of that. So let's see what we can make from selling things. So all that we want to keep, right? The milk, the milk is just, is brilliant. The milk is just a brilliant thing in Farm Manager. Look at that. 6,246. So we've paid off half of the barn, if you like, because we had to you know, buy the barn for the for the cows to be here at all. So we've paid off half the barn already. So that's good. And manure will get rid of that because you know we produce that constantly. Um, and then we'll get rid of the eggs. We're going to make nine grand on eggs. <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay. And a tiny bit of honey as well. So 15 bits of honey already the bees have made 340 farm manager monies. That's two hives fully paid for with a little bit of change on top. That's brilliant. We do have some organic blackcurrant plants left over. Not quite sure why we've got those left over. If we still have those left over in many, many, sort of many months or whatever, then we'll sell those. But yeah, let's do this. That's almost 16 grand. That is brilliant. Okay, right. Very happy with that. Very happy. Now let's just get to the end of the month. Let's get to the end of this month and then we'll see how much money we lose in terms of wage and maintenance and all that kind of stuff. So what are we on? Just over 29 grand. Look at that. More eggs coming through, more milk coming in. And you know what? We haven't even got the full complement. Oh no, we have got the full complement of cows. I'll bother. Okay. And only down to 18,635. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, right. That's a good thing. Oh, I didn't realise. Yeah, this is small, isn't it? If I'd have known, I would have just bought two cows. And then, you know, the nature thing could have happened. And we would have ended up with more cows. Because, yeah, this is a small cow shed. It can only hold four cows. Okay, never mind. I think what we do is, I think we get another greenhouse. Let's get another greenhouse and put more blackcurrant things in it. Because, yeah, they're going to make a lot of money when they actually come through. And we've completed one of the goals. We've completed one of the goals. We have produced two and a half thousand chicken eggs. Hooray! I mean, we do keep selling them. Surely we need to save a few of them to make the carrot cake, but okay. Right, so that's good. One goal ticked off. None of the others anywhere near being started, but never mind, never mind. Right, so what we could do is, over here, yeah, I think to get a bit more money, let's get another big greenhouse. Another one of those. Pop that there because that should be within range of the power. Absolutely fine. And then we'll do the same again. We'll just put uh, black currants in there because they seem to be the sort of, you know, the in profitable thing. And that makes the most money in the least amount of time, which is what we're after. So yeah, let's go to here. Let's go to organic, organic black currants. Yes, please. Absolutely. And we will irrigate it. Yes, we'll do that. I completely forgot about the apples. 39 days left. That'll be quite nice. That'll be quite nice. Oh, they do need a little bit of watering. Can we go and water the apples, anybody? We don't need farm machinery to do that, do we? Oh, hang on. We haven't ticked anything. Yes, allow people to go and do this. Not enough staff. Is that because they're all busy over here? I'm sure at some point they'll be less busy. I think... What are they doing over here? That's been fully sprayed. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. When they've worked on this, when they've got this all sort of set up, they can then go over and look at the orchard. I think it's just because they're all busy right now. Do you know what? I did like the lovely people's farm. I thought we did a really good job with that. But by the end of that, it was all too easy, wasn't it? We didn't really have to do anything to make money. We made obscene amounts of money. It was all very, very ridiculous, really. So, you know, we kind of just built whatever we like. We didn't have to worry at all about how much anything costs. Whereas now, now we really do have to think about it. And I think I prefer that. 
I think I prefer that. I kind of like living a little bit on the edge because, you know, it makes you think about things. At the end of the Lovely People's Farm Run, we could just build anything and it didn't matter. But you know, now we have to be really careful. It's a bit, well, hang on. Do we build ourselves these hives here? Can we afford to hire an extra staff person? So it's all a little bit, it's all a little bit more sort of tense and a bit more realistic now, which I do like. Although the Lovely People's Farm is brilliant, but you know, I'm enjoying this too. It's you know, a slightly different sort of thing. Also, that rain will have helped a little bit. That rain will have helped a little bit. Hang on. Have they watered it? No. Well, that thing seems to imply that it's been watered. But the rain did help out a tiny bit. How are they doing over here? They're currently cultivating it. Okay, so that's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. That is 22 days left. Then over here, the cows are looking healthy. Over there, the chickens are looking fine. And those chickens just there are looking all fine. Just because we haven't got a vet is what I'm thinking. So, okay, this is all good. It's all good. What's the warning? Not enough staff. Yeah, okay. You don't have enough available staff in range of field work. You need, you need an extra seven staff? Really? What, to go and get some apples out off a tree? What, an extra seven? <laughs> you think we need... I mean, how many people have we got? We've got five people in there, haven't we? Because three of them are working with animals. So five people dealing with plants. So you think we need 12 people to go into this orchard and get and get apples off trees? I mean, I'm I'm no orchard worker, but I can imagine that going up to an apple tree and getting apples off it is relatively simple. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, I think the apple trees might have just died. <laughs> this is, uh, this is certainly unexpected. Hibernating. Okay, that's what it is. I mean, yeah, they, they look, they look like they've either, you know, they're in, been set on fire, or they're in some sort of post-apocalyptic kind of setting. I mean, if we try to look that way, it, you know, it, it's gone a little bit fallout. Ignore the green over there, but okay, right. So, um, yeah, the apples aren't going to help us at all. The apples are going to be entirely no use at all because I think we left them to, uh, I mean, we left them to hibernate, <laughs> die. But uh, okay, fine, there we go. We can't do anything about that. We do have the end of the month coming up. We've only got eight grand, but we haven't sold anything. We haven't sold anything. Do you know what we need to do? We need to set up auto trade things, don't we? We need to sort of auto sell all this stuff. So um, yeah, let's auto sell. What do we need to auto sell? Milk, eggs, and honey. Okay, right, let's just go and set up auto-trading things for those. There we go, they're all set up. Now, out of pure interest, how much money are we going to make from selling all of those things? Almost 32 grand, wonderful. It's the milk, it's the milk. The milk is wonderful in this game. I mean, some people might call it overpowered or whatever, but that's brilliant. Okay, right, very happy with that. Right, move time on. So we should see our finances absolutely explode at some point when they do the auto-trading. Hopefully it happens before the end of the month because... I'm not entirely sure what happens. There we go. 41, and then down to 34. I guess we bought some stuff in. I guess we bought some stuff in. Although, I don't quite know what we're buying that's that expensive. Hang on. Hang on. There is a finances thing somewhere, isn't there? I don't think I ever looked at this. Um, There. Okay. Hang on. So we bought in 266 blackcurrant organic plants at 7 grand. Oh! Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot of money right there, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, we bought in some more organic blackcurrant plants. That's what it was. Yeah, that seems fair. You know, otherwise, you know, if we don't order them in, then we can't plant them and stuff. So there we go. Right. I think, does that mean they're going to actually get this in? So that's going to be blackcurrants coming in as well, which is another good source of money. 12 days until those ones are done. I'm very tempted to just get rid of this. Should we just get rid of the apple field? I mean, we might get some money back from it, possibly. We might get a little bit of cash for this. I don't know. I don't really know what else we're going to do with it. Unless it, you know, maybe next year we'll have enough staff around so they can go and work on it. I mean, right now it's all sort of dead, so we can completely ignore it. But it may be, do we get rid of it? Do we get rid of it? I mean, can we find out how much it's going to be? There isn't a confirm, is there? There isn't a confirm when we do that. I don't think it says, would you like to destroy this field? It just goes, right, okay, field's gone, goodbye. Um, Let's leave it. Let's leave it for now. Let's untick that so the little sort of spinny error message of doom kind of goes away. But yeah, I think we'll leave it. Maybe next year we will have enough people to actually work on this. And then it's just kind of free money then, isn't it? It's just yeah, free money we make from apples. Okay, right, fine. Everything's good. Money is slowly but surely... Oh, it's dwindling actually because we've not auto-sold anything for a while. But money will start creeping up now we're auto-selling all of our lovely things. 
Is it worth, in order to try and maximise our profits a little bit more, is it worth investing in more cows? So we might have to save up a good chunk of money because we need to buy a new worker house and then we need to build the cow sheds, then we need to buy the cows. But is it worth doing that? Because we have the barn. We've got a barn set up that was relatively expensive and we have the manure storage thing. So we have two things that are very specific to the cows, yet we only have one cow shed. So we're not really making the most of these buildings, I don't think. So I think we might want to save up. Now, the only thing is things are expensive. So yeah, that's 30 grand. So we need at least 30 grand to get a new worker house in. Then we need to get ourselves another one of those sheds. So a small cow shed is another 10. So that's 40 grand already. And then we know the cows are about, they're about two and a half, are they? Yeah, 2,600. So let's just call it two and a half. So to get four more cows in there, that's another 10 grand. So that's 50 grand that we need. And then of course we need to hire some people. But then I think once that's in, if we save up a good pile of money, that might actually work. I think that could be quite good. Or we could go down the route of fish farms. We saw how profitable they were before as well. In fact, hang on a second. Hang on. Oh, what's, what's the complaint? Oats. Oh, right. Hang on. Yeah, that would make sense, actually, because, yes, we have two things using the oats. Um, can we up that to... That's not oats, is it? That's oats. Oh, no. Buy some oats. Um, up to 75, please. Why not? Let's go for 75 kilograms of oats. There we go. Um, yeah, fish. Hang on. If we wanted to buy right that fish there and that fish there, 341 and 319. Okay, how is the milk? 449. Okay, right. So the milk is by far the best thing. I mean, the sheep milk, the sheep milk sells for a ludicrous amount of money. Is it worth thinking about getting a different load of animals? We've got cows. Maybe we get some sheep. Get sheep milk, get wool, rake in the money, and then these objectives here will be nice and simple. I don't think there's a timeline. There's no deadline on this. It doesn't say you have to do it by the end of the year or whatever. So I think maybe some sheep might be quite a good idea. That would be quite a good investment. And we could put another workhouse in here because we left a gap. I think that's what we might end up doing. Right, hang on. Move time on nice and fast because we do need to get ourselves a good chunk of cash to do that. We need at least, I mean, hang on. How much are the, um, how much are the sheep things? Um, that's an ostrich farm. No, it's slightly different to what we want. I don't think they're sheepy enough. Um, just there. See a small sheep shed. That's 18 grand. So 30 grand for the workhouse, 18 grand for that. That's 48 grand already. So that's more money than we actually have right now. And then of course we're going to lose some money when we pay maintenance and wages and what have you. And then we need to buy the sheep. And then we'll need to buy food for the sheep. So yes. Okay, right. It's it's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. I think we might have to wait a little while. Possibly a couple of, uh, a couple of farm manager months might need to uh, roll by. However... Do we have excess? Um, yeah, we've got excess of those things. Could we sell the organic blackcurrant seedlings, please? Because they're just sitting there. We can get rid of those. 1,285. We've got blackcurrants. We've got blackcurrants. Hang on. That's another eight grand right there. Hang on a second. In fact, we can move time on. That's fine. Um, blah. Oh, no, we've not set one up yet, have we? Hang on a minute. Blah again. Um, yes, organic blackcurrants. Sell above zero, please. Sell all of them. We don't need them for anything. They are purely for profit. Summer's here. Yay. Wonderful. Right. Okay. That should help. Oh, look at that. 60 grand. Okay. This this is going quite well. It feels a bit weird not going toward any of these goals, really, apart from eggs. It's like we've got, all ah, right, the uh, objective, yeah, the scenario is called carrot cake. Right. Let's get some black currants and some cows and some chickens and some bees. There we go. I'm sure that'll do. But um, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. It's a long-term plan. We need to invest in this to then invest in this over here. So you know what? It'll take us a while, but I think we'll get there in the end. Okay, we have nearly 85,000 farm manager monies, which is all very silly indeed. The money is just absolutely pouring in. So I think now is the time to think about where we can put our sheep pens. Where should they go? Now, the thing is, we don't want them too far away from this bit here, because this is where the warehouses are and the little sort of silo thing is. So we want to make sure that they're near to here. Because if we put them over here, that means the staff have got to wander about all day. And that's not productive. So I think they need to go over here. The only thing is we might need to put another electrical transformer robot in disguise thing over there. Um, okay, how about we get ourselves... Let's get ourselves a lovely road. Now, these might be relatively expensive. Hang on, can we build a road through those boxes? We can't build a road. No, we can't. Okay, I thought it might let us build a road through those weird boxes. It's still grates on my nerves a bit that those boxes there 
those you know three boxes kind of you know just sort of dropped and left there make this building take up an entire extra sort of you know square of space on this side just put them inside and then you know we're more space efficient but okay fine um let's build a road down there 500 we've just gone over a hundred grand <laughs> this is this is ridiculous okay right this is fine ah right and then what we'll do is can we have the road coming right down the back of the greenhouses okay that's good and then if we get the electrical transformer to go i don't know where do you want to build the sheep things i think we build them down here because then people can walk up the road and cross over and go to there but then where are we going to put the worker house we could put the worker house just there okay yeah how about that right pause time for a second pause time so let us get a house for permanent employees pop that there move the electrical thing out of the way right 30 grand very expensive very expensive and then let us get in how many of these can we realistically afford um hang on right animals all the way along uh, right small sheds so i think i mean right now let's get one let's just conservatively put one in right now there we go this is good we're expanding we're expanding i did this is wonderful i do like this right so no power over there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We can sort that out. Absolutely. We can get that worked on right now. Let's get ourselves a power thing and we'll put it, um, I don't know, here. That kind of crosses over with that one a bit, doesn't it? We kind of need one sort of there-ish. Um, do you know what? There, that'll do. Pop that there. That's another five grand. Unfortunately, relatively expensive, but okay. Right, so good. Everything is built. They've plugged everything in. So now I think what we do is, can we have a look at getting anybody that's good at working with animals? Plants and animals. That's that's an unfortunate mix there. Uh, endurance and plants, no bad thing. But no, nobody good at working with animals right now. Okay, that's yeah, affordable and not really expensive. Uh, okay, never mind. We'll just wait. We'll wait until the list refreshes and we can get somebody that is good at working with animals. Do you know what? Whilst we wait, let's get another one of those in because the money is coming in quite nicely indeed. So let's get in another sheep pen shed thingamajig. Right, so put that next door to that one. It is 18 grand. So, you know, it's, it, you know, it's kind of hit our finances a bit. We're not at 100 grand anymore. But hopefully when we get sheep in here, that will all change because the sheep milk and the sheep wool will make awful massive amounts of money. So there we go. Right, let's have a look. Is there anybody here who can work with animals who is not extortionate? Um, no, there is not. Okay, right. The great way continues. Okay, so there is one person now who is good at working with animals. There we go. Benjamin Doyle here. So three out of five working with animals, two out of five working with machines. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. You're not going to be working with machines. But 1,202 per month, that's actually quite reasonable. So, yes, please, we will absolutely hire you. And then we'll put you into there. And that means we're a Benjamin Doyle. Down there you go. And now let's go to here. Now, how expensive is a sheep? 350 of your monies. Okay, right. So that's good. So to get another, what have we got? It says animals two out of 10. I don't think we've got two out of 10. I would say that's one out of 10. I mean, you know, I'm not the best at maths, but there's one just there. I, I can count to one. That's fine. Um, so how about then we invest and buy the rest of the sheep? They're not that expensive. Yeah, go on then. 2,800. That's fine. We can afford that. So lots of sheep. Hello, sheep. That's not 10 sheep, game. <laughs> that is, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even going to count that. I can tell that's nine sheep, game, but okay, fine. Right. Crops. Yes, we have some of that. That's good. Soya. I think we've got that. And grass. I'm pretty sure we have crops, grass, and soya already in the thing. So let's have a little look. So crops, right. So increase this because we're going to have two of the sheep shed things. So 75 crops. Yes, please. 75. Don't turn that off. No, we need that. 75 grass and 75 soya. Okay. So confirm that. Thank you. And then what else do they want? They want wheat and they want peas. I think peas are quite expensive, aren't they? Hang on a second. Right. Well, let's go and set those up anyway, because we're okay for money at the moment. So there's wheat. That's quite convenient. Right. Buy until... I mean, we're going to have two sheep things, 50, 50 wheat. And then what was the other one? Peas. That was it. The expensive peas. Okay. So peas just there. And again, purchase until 50. I think peas are quite costly, aren't they? Hang on. Let's go and have a look. If we want to buy some peas right now. Uh, and they're not that bad. They're not that bad. I thought they were significantly more expensive, but no, that's okay. That's not too bad. 
um, and he's been assigned. It's not organic food or anything like that. It's all fine. It's all reg you know, regular, ordinary stuff. Okay, this is all fine. This is all fine. I mean, really, we could... We could go down the route of organic stuff here, couldn't we? Could we not, with the cows, go down the organic route? We'd have to buy organic oats, I think. That's the only thing they share. Oh, no, and the soy. The soya, sorry. So we'd have to buy extra soya and then extra, yeah, extra oats. But everything else could be organic. And that would get us even more money. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Um, milk. So let's have a look. So that milk and that milk and that milk and that milk. So, yeah, the organic milk is 2054. Okay. Right. Slight revision of things then here. Let's get the sheep all organic. Okay, so we need bio stuff now. So we are going to need to go back into the auto trading thing and get in sort of bio equivalents of these. And then I think with the cows, can we change that round as well? Can we say use organic food? Once your animals have been fed non-organic food, you cannot change the type of food. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. The cows can be like that. So the sheep can be organic sheep. Um, so yes, let's just go and sort out the auto trading thing. So yeah, we'll just get all of these in, but lovely sort of, you know, bio-organic versions of those. There we go. All organic ingredients are now on the buy list. So there we go. Wonderful. And it's all ticked. So this should be fine. This should be fine. Apart from the game seems to think, oh, there we go. Right, we'll buy the extra sheep. Thanks, game. Thanks for making things confusing. Is there anybody else that is good at working with animals? Come on, somebody that's affordable. Animals and orchards, 1,315. You are a little bit expensive. We don't need you working with orchards. It's fine. We don't need you to do that. So, okay, we'll wait again for the list to refresh. I think the, the, um, the sheep are here. Yes, already the sheep are here. We are having a slight food issue, however. If we could feed the sheep, that would be that would be great, wouldn't it? Where's our worker person gone? Can we please give them some food? Because they're gonna get hungry and you know die a bit. So yes, if you could go and actually get some food for them. Has it arrived yet? Maybe it's not uh you know the auto trade thing hasn't actually kicked in yet, so there's no food for him to actually go and put in with the sheep. Okay, I mean we'll wait and see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it. There we go, panic over, it's all sorted, and we have ourselves sheep products already. Okay, this is very good. So let's pause time for a second. If we wanted to sell some sheep products, what can we do? Oh, they've not moved them over yet. Oh, hang on, they're still in here. Okay, it's fine. He'll move them over at some point. Come on, put them into our warehouse so we can then sell them. Yeah, the uh, sheep milk is there and the wool is still in there. Okay, I don't quite know what he's doing now. They're making an awful lot of sheep milk and the wool. If you could move it over so we could, you know, sell it. I think he just moved the manure. We probably have quite a lot of manure right now thinking about it. 2,000 uh, 2, kilograms of it. I think we can get rid of that. It's not worth very much money, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Have you moved things over? It looks like you might have moved the sheep's milk over, not the wool. Um, okay, they're still generating loads of stuff. Okay, right, hang on there. So sell. Uh, there it is. Sheep milk, two grand. Two grand already. And they've not even been there that long. That is brilliant. Okay, right. Do you know what? Yes, let's set up some auto selling options for this because that means we don't have to worry about it. So sell all of that, please. So 92 units of that, and then let's sell some wool as well. And it's lovely organic wool, very nice indeed, very soft. Okay, good stuff. So now the money should be pouring in. Got 41 grand, that's after having built all this stuff. Is there anybody else that's good at working with animals? Come on, there must be somebody that's good and not really expensive. No. Again, people are multi-sort of skilled. We don't want multi-skilled people. Just somebody that can look after some sheep, please. Lucas Nicholson, you are certainly the man for the job. Animals, three out of five. And endurance as well. We like any of our main skills with endurance because that means they're just, you know, working a bit harder, which is marvellous. So, yes, in you come, Lucas Nicholson. Assign you to that building there. Buy a massive load of sheep. Again, the game's gone a bit weird with it, but never mind. Put that all in there. And wonderful. Right, can we buy the extra sheep? There we go. <laughs> Splendid. So, I mean, even having just done that, having bought a load of sheep, we're still on 37 grand, which is very good. Oh, and look, blackberries. Uh, no, not blackberries. Black currants. Sorry, we're getting black currants out of here. This is very good indeed. Not enough workers. For which one? This one here. It's growing. Why does it need... Why does that need workers? Oh, does it need spraying? Does it need spraying with the, the sort of, you know, anti-fungal, anti-weed stuff, whatever it is? They're quite happily working in this one. Oh, they're spraying that one. Okay, 
that's fine. That's fine. As long as everybody is keeping busy. As long as everyone's actually doing something. So yeah, everybody is busy. We've got no idle people, which is good. That's always a good sign. I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now because I think we've actually done quite well. Let's pause the game for a second. So we've got ourselves this little setup here. Yes, it is in no way going toward this apart from the eggs. It's in no way going toward any of our scenario goals. So we've not produced any carrots or colza or wheat or colza oil or wheat flour. We have produced quite a lot of eggs. We produced almost 13,000 eggs. My goodness me, some prolific chickens going on. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so we've done one of the goals. But I mean, yeah, we have to build this up. We have to get ourselves you know, a little sort of sustainable farm first before we then go and get loads of farm machinery to put the carrots in and you know, then the colza. And again, the thing is that to actually get the wheat and the colza harvested, that requires different farm machinery to the carrots. That requires all sorts of reapers and then all sorts of other bits and bobs. And I don't know, does it require the sort of the wind mower things, whatever they are? The, the things that, you know, get all the grass together and stuff from the wheat and whatever. So, you know, that requires a lot of stuff. So, yeah, we can't just do that right now. We had to do it this way, I think. And I think things are going well. I think with these sheep in, that's going to be good. Then I think possibly we could just get a load more sheep and cows in and then just make a good amount of money off of their products. And of course, you know, the other stuff as well will make money. So, you know, the honey and the eggs and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, mostly we'll get our money from sheep and cows. I think that might be our plan. And then we can start thinking about the actual sort of scenario objective type things. But do you know what? It's fine. We're off to a good start. We'll come back next time and we'll see if we can get the ingredients together to make ourselves what seems to be the world's most vast and enormous carrot cake. But uh, yeah, we'll finish things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like that would be very lovely indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in farm manager 2021 and the carrot cake scenario but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time <laughs> these people are eating the tables they're just devouring the tables they're so hungry there's no atmosphere at all were well, you sat in the car park <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place mine Nien Stan in brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this. 